Hey everybody Ann here, sitting here in the tiny house having my coffee with all of you. And no, nope, no, I didn't I didn't cut the bangs. I did just trim some off of the back and basically how I did it is I flipped my head over, brushed my hair down so that the longest part I could just cut that because I want this part to be uh, I didn't want to cut it because I want the underneath part because I wanted to be able to still pull it up in a pony. Anyhow, nah, no bangs, so I just got to kind of pull back. And <laughs> this part up here is pretty short. I think it's because I keep putting on my ball cap all the time, every day. So I think I may have to give it a rest. My hair's gotten really long and it's curly. It's weird. I'm thinking of doing some more planting maybe. All right, let's see what I have planted so far. I think I showed you this before, but there is a celebrity tomato plant in there. And I also went ahead and planted some bush beans in it. I want to see if maybe I can just get them to grow along with the tomato plant. In this big old tub here, I planted four of those eggplant that are baby eggplants. And I also went ahead and planted another... Um... Gosh, I think that's an early girl tomato. Yeah, I think it's one of the ones that I got from my seedling. Yes, that is, could be a beefsteak. It is one of my seedlings though, but it's looking really great. And I've heard that um, since they kind of need the same sort of uh, nutrients and requirements for growing, it was okay to go ahead and grow them together. And this is a nice big pot, so I'm trying to utilize as much space as I can. I had two tomato plants left. I think that's a beefsteak. And that's a beefsteak, so I don't know if they'll grow in here, but you know, it's worth a try. And one more early girl tomato plant here. The last of my seedlings. I don't know if it's going to grow here. This is not the best soil, but I had one extra, so I plopped it down. You already knew that I planted these tomatoes in here and they're getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, I am going to go around and trim off more of the bottom leaves. But I have also, my mom sent me these seeds. They are basically yellow green beans, yellow uh, bush beans. So um, anywhere where you see, well, I planted one there, one there, and one here, and one here. But Oh, and I think I may have planted one there and one there. Yeah, all of the ones on the outside are bush beans. But <laughs> there's also something in there. One, two, three, four. And that is the yellow patty pan squash. Um, it seems like an awful lot for this garden bed, but I have a history of not fully using my garden bed, so this year is going to be different. I'm going to have to keep it well watered, all of them, and well fertilized. Right now, this garden soil has fertilizer in it, so it'll be good for a little bit here. But, yeah, so patty pan squash and bush beans. Um, I'm hoping the bush beans and the squash will help shade the ground, and maybe the tomatoes will grow better. But look at they are just looking gorgeous. They're getting so big. I got this garden bed done. So what do I got in here? Um... I have jumbo jalapeno peppers in the four corners. Yep, jumbo jalapeno peppers. And then cayenne is basically everywhere else. <laughs> cayenne's there, cayenne's there, cayenne's there. Yeah, cayenne is just in the middle. Jumbo jalapeno peppers are in the corners. I almost wish I had kind of let these seedlings grow a little bit more, but I think they'll they'll do okay. Also, there's a bunch of sticks. There's one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. And that is yellow summer squash. Um, yeah, this is a bigger bed. It's not as tall, but it's bigger. So uh, I wanted to plant the summer squash to shade the ground. And yeah, eventually, this is only temporary. Um, until everything starts coming up because things are going to start sprawling. The squash will, so I'll have to think of something else to keep the chickens out. But for right now, it's working. I got this beautiful garden bed done. And in here, I've got green bell peppers. 
So there's one there, one there, one there, and one there. Yeah, the green bell peppers are in the corners. Then I've got early girl tomatoes. I'm mixing them together, early girl tomatoes. Um, so I've got plenty of tomatoes going. And then these sticks right here, by each of those sticks, I planted zucchini. So you kind of go get with the, the theme I'm, I'm doing here. I'm just combining things, trying to make as much of the space that I have. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. This bucket done too. And I just put two of the last green bell peppers in there. And also, I planted peas. What I didn't know about peas that probably everybody else in the whole world knows, but me, is that they're a cool weather crop. So I just went ahead and planted them there and planted them there. Um, I don't know if they'll grow because it's going to be getting pretty hot here pretty soon. But you can plant them like in the fall and harvest just before winter. But I'm just really, really happy with all of this that I got done. It was hot. It was, I was getting sweaty. But, um, yeah, so once things start growing, if you guys remember, all along here, from here all the way over to the water tank, uh, the, the water barrel, I had a fence, but I had to take it down because I needed it for um, the chicken yard. But um, I'm thinking, I'm considering of putting it back like somebody suggested. Um, the only thing is, is I'll have to, you know, put something against underneath the tiny house so the chickens can't get in it that way. Um, because things, if they grow right, they're going to start sprawling and I want them to be able to sprawl. Um, and it's just going to be too hard to contain everything that's growing within these. So I got a little time. I just need, really, I don't need super awesome steaks. Maybe just like these. I might even be able to cut down some bamboo. And just some more chicken wire just like this. Because that worked perfect. So, um, yeah. I need to just kind of clean things up a little bit. Weed some things. Feed the weeds to the bunnies. And I got my garden right here mostly right here <laughs> and then I've got some in front of the tiny house eventually what I'd like to have is more garden beds here another one there and maybe just make it come out to like here and have these this all filled with raised garden beds to about right here and then have the gate going this way I think that that would be awesome yeah, I think that that would be really awesome. But this year, this is all I'm going to be growing. I don't know that I'll buy any more soil. I think this is just going to be it. Oh gosh, I'm nervous, but I'm excited too. Look at how big that basil is getting. Mm, I love to just come by it and pinch off a leaf or two because it's just really delicious. So we got one more space there. I don't know what I'll plant there. Who knows? Yeah, I need to trim those down. Oh, look at this. I'm getting blooms. Oh, pretty ladybug. Whoa, oh, where'd you go? Yeah, I'm getting a ton of blooms. Doesn't that look pretty? Oh, and also, look at it. Look at it. I got a strawberry. <laughs> Everything in this one is doing really good, too. That's beauty. <laughs> she just laid me an egg. That's wonderful. It's been a great day. I've done chicken chores, rabbit chores, got everything watered, ran into town and got some groceries. Oh, I got some stuff to make my dream cheese. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that tomorrow. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I need some cheese. I love cheese. And this is stored in olive oil, so it keeps for a long time. You don't have to refrigerate it. So yeah, I think that's going to be for the next video. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.